Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen, and today we're going to look at Envy Eve in Sparkling Champagne. Now, I've reviewed Eve before in a different color, but I have not had it in Sparkling Champagne, so I'm kind of just going to do a really short overview of this wig. I have a full review of it also on my channel, so if you want to see it, I'll link it below. But I just wanted to revisit Eve a little bit because I think this is such a nice bob, a sleek bob. It works for so many people. It has these face framing layers that are really pretty. I just think this is a really good first wig for someone. Uh, if you're wanting to try a little longer hair, you're used to really short hair, you want to try something a little more sleek, a little bit longer, this might be your wig. So I wanted to give you another look at Eve by Envy. Uh, please also join me on Instagram at Crazy Wig Lady. I have Wig to Toe Wednesday over there. I also have a new series on my channel called What's Up With Wigs that are just little short two-minute videos that I've been doing that, oh, it's just hair, you know, styling, some styling, some color comparisons, just all kinds of fun stuff. So be sure to watch out for What's Up With Wigs. Okay, let's have a look at Envy's Eve. Okay, Envy Eve. Let's look at the color first. Sparkling Champagne. You've seen me review it before. So it all starts with a strawberry blonde base on this wig. And then it has all of these beautiful highlights. They're golden blonde. They run throughout. It has a medium brown root. Beautiful rooting on this wig. Just wanted you to see that. And like I said, this is a more sleek look. Uh, and, but I think these highlights are really pretty and they've really concentrated them around the face in this wig. So it kind of brightens your face up. Very beautiful sparkling champagne. Let's have a look at it in outdoor lighting. Okay, the specs for Eve. The front is 6.5. The crown is 7.5. The sides are 2.75. The nape is 1.5 and it weighs 2.85 ounces. Let me show you the back. Nice short nape. Fits very, very close to your neck. I like that on the short wigs that you can bend your head e anyway and it's never going to lift off your neck. And again, I'm just looking at these highlights. I hope you can see how beautiful these highlights are. It really gives this wig a dynamic look. It is blended beautifully. Beautiful job on sparkling champagne. Okay, let's look at the inside of the cap. Okay, the cap for Eve by Envy. Beautiful lace front into a left mono part. There is permatease here. Not a lot. This is a very sleek wig, but there is just a little bit there. Goes down, down into a closed ear tab with stays, open wefted, velcro adjusters, non-extended felt nape. There's a little stretch in here, not a huge amount. Beautiful lace front. And here's a close-up look of sparkling champagne. Okay, just a few ways to wear this cute bob. You know, I always wear one side behind my ear. That's just my preference. I know a lot of people don't like that and don't do it. That's perfectly fine. You can wear it any way you want, but that's just my preference. I like one side back, especially on these short bobs. I like it just to give that little bump right there and then one side down. That's just my preference. On this wig, you could easily wear it off your face. I would put this little barrette clip in it just to get it off because you have that beautiful front on it. If you can see that. Nice. Headband, of course. Yes. Always works with the headband and gives you a completely different look I always like that. Let's see about some glasses. Works great with glasses. 
And I would probably, if I wanted to piece this out just a little bit to give it some texture, I would use a little John Renault styling cream. You've seen me use it a million times. You need a very little amount, super small amount. Rub it between your fingers, warm it up, and then I go all the way to the root in my wigs, all the way, and I just start running it through there. If I want to really mess it up, give it a fun, messy look, it's easy to create that with a very small amount of styling cream, and you can just create some pieces in this wig. You're not going to get a lot of volume out of this, but you can get a little, a little lift, but mainly I like it because it just messes it up. To me, a dead giveaway of a wig is when a wig is too fixed. I like it to be a little messy, a little windblown looking, and to me, in my opinion, that gives it a little more natural look. Okay, guys, that is my review of Eve by Envy and Sparkling Champagne. Sparkling Champagne. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe to my channel. There's a little bell notification. Please hit that so you'll always be up to date when I load. I am uh, uploading about two times a week and I might start three times a week. So don't forget to follow me here. Also on Instagram and I have a Facebook page, Crazy Wig Lady. I have a lot of things on most platforms that I don't always have here. So be sure to join me there. Thank you so much again and don't forget we're all in this together.